billions of cicadas are coming. And if you're a pet owner, we have some tips that you should know to help keep them safe. I don't know about your pets, but I call my girls goats. Peaches and cherry eat sticks, flowers, and of course grass. So what's going to happen when Brood X emerges and your pets have billions and billions of choices for a cicada buffet? Well, let's go ask an expert. It's a brand new, exciting, I don't know, toy, I guess. Dr. Amy Fouth works at the Falls Road Veterinarian Hospital in Potomac. First question, are they dangerous to your pets? No. It, uh, there's a caveat there. Okay. They're not toxic. These are not stinging or biting um, insects. It, it's the sharp, you know, outer body, which we call an exoskeleton, mm -hmm. and the sharp wings. You know, that might irritate the, okay. the GI tract as it moves through. Imagine pieces of chocolate springing up from the ground. I dare say some humans would gorge themselves. I know I would. And that could make your pets sick to their stomachs. We're going to see a lot of vomiting and a lot of diarrhea during cicada season. Vomiting is a more serious sign mm -hmm. in a dog or a cat, and that should be seen by a veterinarian. Diarrhea is maybe a little bit easier to treat. So, short of shop backing your entire yard from early to mid-May through June, you're going to want to keep a close eye on your pets and shut down the cicada smorgasbord. There's a leash law, so okay. in theory, they're only going to be as far as the leash can extend. But if you normally let them out on their own in the backyard, maybe you put them on a leash during cicada season. Right. But the cicada buffet isn't just for dogs and cats. Zoos around the country, when they have cicada populations sparking up like that, will use cicadas as um, enrichment for the zoo animals. Birds, snakes, squirrels, and other wildlife, even other insects, eat cicadas for protein. Smithsonian entomologist Floyd Shockley explains the sheer number of cicadas is key to their survival. No matter how many predators there are, even if they ate all day every day, they couldn't eat a ball. And so um, not every individual survives, but the species itself persists. Cicadas can also be eaten by humans. You can roast them up. Uh, you can actually use them almost interchangeably with shrimp. And I will warn you though, because they are relatively closely related to crustacea, if you have shellfish allergies, you can have an allergic reaction to the cicadas. I have a daughter who's about to turn 18 this week and she was a year and a half during the last emergence. <laughs> She, as a toddler, loved to eat cicadas. <laughs> but just like curious children, many pets will just want to play with them. So the, they're fun, especially for cats. I mean, cats go nuts over these. We used to have a dog who used to like to get the cicadas into her mouth, and they make that buzzing, that really deep, that <laughs> major loud buzzing. And she would just hold it in her mouth and the, with the buzz. Right. She didn't really want to eat it. She just wanted the buzz. So. What are the takeaways? Cicadas are not poisonous. Cicadas do not sting or bite. Dogs and cats will likely eat them. Eating too many cicadas may upset your pet's stomach. Why can't we let them have a few cicadas?